This ball's so greasy, I just want to wipe it on my shirt between shots. My look is usually not this good. If they put out 21 mils, I'm down. Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're going to talk a little bit about bowling ball maintenance and why it's so important. Joined today by special guest Brandon Riley. And my five year old Ed Solid that I use at a brickyard across town. This ball's beat up, probably got 150 to 200 games tracked up, and we're gonna see what it does on fresh the condition it's in. Then we toss it in the detox machine, sand it down, and get it as close to new as we can. Let's see what it does. There you go. That's a good shot. All right, let's make a little move right. Looks like the oil's carrying down and the ball's getting greasy. Let's try to find the pocket here. One more, that felt really good. I miss throwing this ball in this house. It's great across town at the brickyard where it's dry. This ball's so greasy, I just want to wipe it on my shirt between shots. All right, well that's enough of that. To the shop, let's detox it, suck some oil out of it, resurface it, and make it fresh and do. All right, we're here in the pro shop. Uh, we got Brandon's Brunswick Edge in the detox machine here. Now what this is doing, it's using warm water, it's not super hot, and it's using ultrasonic to kind of vibrate the oil out of the pores of that bowling ball. This is about a 30 minute process. Uh, after this, those pores should be really clean. We'll take it over to the spinner and resurface it back to its original box finish. So we're all done with the detox machine. We're gonna bring it here to the spinner. Uh, the box finish on this edge is 500 and 2000 on top. So we're gonna use some new pads and we're gonna bring it back to that original box surface. Fresh out the detox with the fresh resurface, got this ball back to 2000 grit. Um, this ball's still warm. Let's try that same alignment where it was before we took a break. Not bad. Roll a little more even. I moved in and hit that one a little more. Ten back. It's actually pretty good for the house shot. My look is usually not this good. Not even my quantums. Yeah, that looks so good now. Like, no way that, that ball an hour ago would have done that. That would have been a washout from there. If they put out 21 mils, I'm down. No messenger emoji. Let's wrap it up, bring Barks back. All right, Brandon, so you threw that edge a bunch uh, with that original surface with a 150 to 200 games on it. We took it back to the shop, we detoxed it for 30 minutes, we got that original surface back on the ball. What are you seeing at this time? I saw a lot more hook. Um, what actually, visually what I see is that I don't see as many nicks and cuts in the ball. Um, having bowled with, on wood lanes, um, this ball looked pretty beat up and it wasn't pretty. So if you're able to zoom in a little bit, um, it's pretty clean. And I'm sure Ryan could have even gone deeper with a higher grade of sandpaper Aberlon to smooth that out more. I was able to throw the ball a little firmer and still see hook. And also what I found in the, in the original shots was my ball was hooking less and less after every shot. Oil was carrying down, oil was getting on the surface of the ball. Uh, now the ball's able to absorb a little bit of oil, it's not just sitting on the 
on the actual ball's cover. So yeah, I've got more hook, probably another three or four boards hook, and it's earlier and smoother. So after a detox and a surface change, do you see the benefit of it? Yeah, for sure. The ball was not really hooking the way it wanted to earlier. It wasn't rolling the way it wanted to earlier, and it wasn't the way I remember it when it was new. After the surface change and the detox, the ball rolled a lot more like it did five years ago. It wasn't quite the same as being brand new, but it was way, way closer. I got an extra three or four boards of hook. The ball started up earlier, and it wasn't quite as sensitive to the shots where I overthrew and was firm with my speed. So I just had a more consistent roll out there, and I believe I could score higher with the ball when it's maintained. All right, so this ball's probably got 150 to 200 games on it, Ryan. <laughs> I've, I've sanded it down, changed the surface a few times, but this is actually the first time I've tossed it in the detox machine. How often should I actually do that? Uh, we would recommend somewhere between 60 and 80 games. So if you're bowling a 28 or 30 week league and you're using just the one ball, we recommend detoxing it or rejuvenating it once a year. This is gonna keep that cover fresh and performing at its best. At JR Pro Shop here, we use the Detox by Jayhawk. Um, other shops may use something different, so talk to your local Pro Shop operator and see what they have to offer you. So as you can see, there's a lot of benefits to having proper ball maintenance. Having a ball resurfaced and having the oil extracted out of the cover stock is gonna prolong the life of that bowling ball. Hopefully that will extend the life of the bowling ball and you won't have to buy so many in the future. In short, it's a, a much cheaper option to prolong the life of a bowling ball rather than replacing it for a more expensive option. Particularly the one that you really like. True. I can't find these anymore. And this is just the ball for me at a brickyard across town. <laughs> so question time with Barks and Brando. What maintenance do you do to your bowling equipment and what products do you use as well? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe and thanks to all the members who have joined so far. If you're interested in becoming a member of our community, hit the join button below and we'll see you next time.